Hi, and welcome to our first video, Wild Journal, brought to you by Wild Survivors. So we've got lots of really exciting news to bring you up to speed with. Um, we've been extending the beehive fence even further. If you recall, if you've been following the updates, uh, perhaps you're one of our amazing beehive sponsors, we had reached the point of the elephant corridor where the fire line break to the forest meets the corridor edge. And some of the farmers right at the intersect there were having a really intensive time with the elephants crop raiding at night, particularly now as they'd been following the beehive fence down the fire line to reach the corridor and realizing there was lots of uh, very delicious wheat crops um, right there on the boundary. So we have just extended the fence down the length of the western side of the elephant corridor, uh, about 500 meters. So a lot of the lovely donors from even from Christmas throughout the first six months of this year that have helped us to extend the fence, help the farmers keep the peace with the elephants, will um, soon be seeing some really cool photos uh, further down in this email. So from there onwards, we've actually got the first of its kind with a combination mitigation fence where we've joined up with our partners at Pam's Foundation and their chili fence which meets ours in the middle and continues down the corridor. So the elephants get a delightful mix of bees and then a quite spicy chili, which is infused into cloths, soaked into cloths and hung over a similar wire fence that connects along the boundary of the elephant corridor. So it'll be really fascinating to monitor the elephant's behavior, their reaction to the multi-fence, and to see if they try and enter the farm more or less often at those two um, different types of uh, fence methods. So we've got camera traps installed along there. We've got our bee guardians working hard to monitor and record on a new Cluey app. So all our data is now being digitized in the field, which is very exciting. And of course, working with the PAMS Foundation Elephant Guardians, who do a lot of the patrolling within the elephant corridor itself. So more updates on that soon. Another exciting um, update is with our Women's and Bees project, which has been such an amazing success so far. And thank you so much to all of you for getting right behind this project, really showing your support for our lovely ladies up in the near the corridor region of Upper Kateti. Um, fantastic, very strong willed, proactive women who formed a group called the Nari Women's Group Beekeeping Enterprise named after a Nari acacia tree of which they always hold their meetings under. So you may recall, in fact, they completed their beekeepers training. We had an apiary installed, which was sponsored by the Elephant Crisis Fund with 10 Langstroth beehives. And very soon in the next few weeks, we'll be installing the Enterprise Hub, which is their processing center to process the honey to a high quality. It's also got breakout areas for training, meeting places, a kitchen and other helpful uh, spaces. So a uh, really cool design that we can't wait to show you that's going to be installed there using a shipping container uh, that has been broken up into different compartments and some very cool things to bring um, to all our donors there um, to see what's coming next. So in addition um, to Women and Bees, um, we'll be following the women to see their progress um, they're making great strides towards protecting the forests of the Elephant Corridor, taking on this new beekeeping enterprise, new livelihood to generate financial independence as well for uh, the women in the group, uh, really empowering local women to um, lead their own initiatives to help protect the, the forest, conservation efforts, as well as uh, really developing new skill sets themselves, which is fantastic. So more to follow soon. We've got our Big Stomp Virtual Challenge, which is relaunching this year, backed by popular demand, uh, where you can walk, run, cycle, swim the length of the elephant corridor that we're working with here in Upper Kateti. Um, so keep following updates. You'll be able to register for the start of July, so just in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, so stay tuned to get involved. It's a great initiative. Get outside in this beautiful weather. And uh, yeah, more info further down the email. So thanks for joining us today and more to follow soon. Bye for now.